a juicy pack. Michael thinks it's a juicy pack. I think it's pretty crap. Yeah, I like totally murderous. Playable. I like murderous rider. And murderous, whatever you want. But honestly, it's either Mox or Channel. God, I'm a sucker for Channel. I, I, uh, uh, I. <laughs> It's more uh, funny, but I think Mox uh, is the correct play. Uh, Mox is the correct play. Channel is the, the more fun. fun play. And it's not bad. You ever cast an Ulamog in like turn two, bro? But it's like one is a whole deck you have to commit to. One is just a basic good card for any deck. Aleshi is like a Slavic forest spirit, and Penny Pack is the forest near where I... Oh. So you're the forest spirit of the forest near where you... Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Thank that's you. That's smart. That's so easy now. It's a unique 50 unique. months? That's like a bunch of biscuits. That is a bunch of biscuits. Super Fritz, am I going channel or Mox Ruby? You got 18 seconds. Maddie says channel. Super Fritz says Mox. Smart boy. It's true. I don't know, man. For 50 months, I probably got to go Mox. So I like to share the, a couple things on stream. Our friend Elk Tears, who's in the chat sometimes, has signed some lands for me. One says, hi, Moochel. I can't see that. How close I got to get? Where's well, your... It's over here, so. Uh, it's a lot of commitment. It's... I'll just say what they say. He signed him. Elk Tears was here on a plains. Regular signature on one. And then, hi, Moochel, with a little man on the mountain. I don't know what Cheeks means, but uh, I, I don't think it's, I don't think Channel is bad in any way. Frankimus and Commodus Moochel, the Empire has returned all aboard the Rat Train. <laughs> that sounds correct. Send them on down to Rat Train. I don't want to take this Tinker now. Tinker is like a blue channel, right? Outside and got to call on the Rat Train. <laughs> better, yeah. But it gets from your deck, which is better. Now we got an Is It Signet to go with this Mox Ruby and this Tinker. That seems good. Also, we got. No one can see your your dual lands, eight your fetch ten, lands, eight of the ten fetchies, your your check lands, Michael. Whatever the heck they are, you know. All old. The original printings for the ones that don't have the alternates. Good in here, though. This pack is not beautiful. Yeah, I don't think Crater was really going to go along with what we got. You don't know. Colony, maybe? It's not exciting, but. It's fine. You don't know. Hey, faithless looting? Is that a thing? I yeah, don't... actually. I, I actually actively dislike faithless looting, but I, I appreciate that other people like it. You know, that's important. I don't like this guy with Tinker, so I'm just going to take the Chorus of Portal because I think that's just better. You don't like him with Tinker? Interesting. He's a stinker with He's Tinker. Stinker. I guess if you play him too early, it's like, whoa, you killed one million. Ooh. Yeah, and then like they kill it, and like maybe you know, I got I to gotta sack two more lands. I got to sack my island and my, my mountain again. You know, it's just a bad time for everybody. Oh, yeah, Who's sad. having a good time? I like an Emery, though. We could build around an Emery. It's got artifact things. It's got artifact things. Um, I mean, it's good in a format where you can have four of them in a combo deck, yes. Already? Spaghetti. Already? I'm on Shelly. Faithless looting is what I do when I would try to find edible snacks in my ex's apartment since she refused to eat sugar. <laughs> See, that's funny. That's a funny, that's a funny marijuana joke. Did you get it? Ed an edible is a, a food item that has marijuana in it. Uh, people eat them. They ingest them to have the effect of marijuana in their body. Yeah, they get they get they get loose. They get a little loose. This pack is terrible. This guy do. He's got a lot of text, man. Jesus, who's got the time? You didn't get excited by it, so it's probably... Look on your phone, you. man. I don't know. No. P and Kieran Alar is okay. Is it better than Goblin Electromancer? I don't think so. It's just a 2-2 wizard. You ever had a wizard before? No. <sighs> Dang it. I've never had a wizard before. They call them devil brownies, Moochie. <laughs> Was that a marijuana joke or just saying sugarless snacks are edible? Aren't edible. I think it was a little of both, you know. I'll take this guy. Stone didn't think so. Yeah, we could have a ton of mid-range doofuses. We could have P and Karen Alar, Hellrider, all of these four mana doofuses. You will never find doofuses. The Kibra. 
No, you'll have doofuses for days. DFD is what I like to say. And often the doofuses just win the game, so. Doofuses. Baral? We got now we got Baral and Electromancer. So we're set up perfectly for that that storm deck that we don't want to play. <clears throat> and tell me why. You've been in Colorado too long. It's not all, all Mary Jane. What is it? You mean life isn't? What are you saying? Give it to me, buddy. That's <laughs> the guy that doesn't smoke. Mike, Michael's high right now. Is that against the Twitch terms of service? Hellriser won't wheel. That, I don't even know who Hellriser. Fat donuts, you know. Fat poofs. I don't know the terms. Blow fat poofs. You know when you make little the, the circles? Yeah, when you blow poofs. When you do the poofs. That's what it's called. Blowing fat poofs. I'm pretty sure I've seen people vape on stream. I think it's... All right, Michael, we get it. You vape. <laughs> but I know. I think it's just Oko here, and we just get this teamer deck rolling. There he is again. Teamer and... I mean, it's correct, though. It's, it's very strong. Pernicious dude said Oko is good. I agree. Very smart. Very smart. Oh, and also does he does make he makes food for you know for your for your party. Have it your way. Dude, oh God. Is it just copper line? Your subway. When you're here, your subway. He's so proud of himself. I mean if you want to this look at this look at this idiot. I mean I'm just taking that guy, dude. That guy's just good. Take all the band cards. Is this guy an artifact? No, it just looks like a demon. I should do I should do a draft where I pretend like I've never played Magic before. And you would definitely not stand lines I down. I'll take this guy. This guy's just good. I've played Magic for almost 30 years and I still don't understand lines I diamond, so that's true. What you said? That's correct. Really? That was pretty simple actually. No, it's not. Don't talk to me like that. It's disrespectful. It's the wrong tone. Do it again and you, you know. <laughs> Doing what it all wrong. I'll take Murky. I'll take all these Modern Horizons 2 cards that are broken. I got a Fury, a Murktide, and a Ragavan. Oh, is one of these? Oh, I think Ketria is Teamer. Oh, beautiful. But then also Deceiver Exarch. But we don't have the other one, so. Ketria Triumph it is. Catch me at Ketria Triumph. How about that? Hmm. It's like Catch catch Me Outside, you know? No, no Citadel for the tank. What's Citadel? Oh, we passed the Citadel. What's Citadel? Bolus's. I, 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 I it's a value tinker though. It's not that, a win the game honest. tinker. I don't know if we're even tinkering. Depends on what we get, I guess. It's not like an idiot. It's the fat poofs. I missed it. That's something. Smell this. Let me know what you think of that. Open. Open. So I went to the store. Hold on. It's like straight up cop syrup. Cop syrup? <laughs> we are way <laughs> drinking the cop show. So I went to the store to buy some condoms, and the lady was like, have a fun night. Need a bag for that? And I was like, no, I'll just turn off the lights. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, like your face. <laughs> That's mean. Am I out, of, out, am I out to lunch, or did you once? Oh, let me pick this. Let me pick this pack. Is it a braid? I, th I like a braid. A little mog's cool, but I don't feel like we're mog in here. I'll take in a braid. Maybe you're not. Ooh, I like a gruel signet. <sighs> my boy. What they did to my boy. Or did you once do a voice for Brawl's mom calling him Barry or something? Probably. That I mean, sounds about right. Yeah, I don't know. That sounds about right. We do like a lot of content. Still way too full. What you're gonna say, drunk? I am way too full right now. Drunk on food. He has a little food drunk. God, high tide came back. Think that ship has sailed. It's on a ship too, so it's it's like a double entendre. I actually don't like that art. It's what a day crap. to be alive. That's correct. My God, it's bottle, whatever. I don't care. This pack is stupid. Yeah, you can tinker it. So maybe we play. That means I don't don't get to sacrifice it. Which where's the fun in that? That actually does make it actively bad. Now that you mention it, like Toski. 
Tusky. There's a bunch of good white cards. I wish I was playing a white deck right now. Wow, brain freeze. Don't mind if I do. I pack one. Oh, it's pack two. That's even worse. This deck has not impressed me much. If I was Shania Twain, I would be miserable. This don't impress on me. Get a moat. Is that a cat or a dog wearing sunglasses? Oh, it's a cat. Okay. Oh, it's a cat. Is it is it prime time or is it mana crypt? It's gotta be mana crypt, right? It's mana crypt. I hate it, but I'll do it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll hate it, but I'll take it. You know, that's my that's my motto. Hating it and taking it. What? Fledgy shredgy. What? Fledgy shredgy. What? Ledger shredder. Fast bond. What on earth? I've been working until midnight because just junk be broke. This will help me get my mind off. Junk do be broke. I've heard that. I like Ancestral Vision here. I really like it. What? Okay. Congratulations. What about Dak Faden? He does a lot. Dak and Oko are two of my favorite planeswalkers. Did you know that, Michael? I would really love one good artifact to tinker in, to tinker into. Is Mind Slaver it? I don't know. It's pretty decent. I'm gonna take out this Electromancer and this Brawl because I think they're stupid. I think we gotta play Tinker. We should probably take it. I agree with you, and I think I want to play Tinker. So you know, that's where I'm at right now. How about Worm Coil though? That guy's good. I'll tinker to that. That's my. That's what I'm saying. Oh, but there's an Urza. Shoot, Urza do be good. Oh man. Oh, five color super friends next draft. I mean, we have a lot of like value stuff, so maybe worms better. I guess just for the tinker, and then we get this car in here. That's kind of cool. I, I agree with that. Actually, there's no reason why he's more not fair. In fact, could be this guy. I don't think he's great in our deck. I'll just take the Karn. We have a decent amount of. Oh, the Winter Orb, but then we already passed the Gerza. Oh, that's so, so... Oh. Is Metal Orker, is that any good in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. We got seven artifacts. I need enough for you? Not all to do with it. I guess we have a Karn. We cast anything. And a Worm sure. Coil and a Mind Slaver? Yeah. You sold me again. What if we take the Academy Ruins, and then we can just recur the Mind Slaver a million times? For like nine bajillion mana. Like 45 mana or something like that. Do we have anything that goes well with Opposition? Sad. This is cryptic. It's got to be just cryptic, right? Could be botanical sanctum, actually. On the, on yeah, the I'll casting. take the, the botan. Triple blue? Don't know about that. I took the botan. Take it easy. I'm just saying. Do we want char? Sphinx of the Steel Wind is a tinker target. That seems good, actually. Sword of Feast and Famine? I'll take it. We just added two more artifacts to our stable. Put a sword on your monkey and go to town. I'm taking Faithless Looting out because I hate it. And I also have Dak now, which is basically... Well, I did murder your family that one time, so, you know, I get it. And I'm, I'm glad you understand me. I'll just take Nissa. She's okay. Oh, wow, Katie, I'm late. Oh, my God, babe, what's up? Babe, did you finish your yoga? Your yogurt? Your yoga yogurt? Yoga flame? Yoga fire? Yoga flame. No, I hate port. I don't think port is fun to play or play against. I'm really hoping that the Academy Ruins is like last pick. That would be super cool. Sort of Fire and Ice? Yes! <laughs> so excited. Oh, that's exactly what we wanted, man. Also, to play Port, like, I think at max you can be two colors and you have to have a very specific deck. Yeah, you don't want to be Port in a three color deck, man. You this know, any Port in a Storm does not apply to this particular set of rules. We got 26. Mox is kind of land, so we need to go down to 24. Still trying to get the strength for day six. Babe, are you still in bed? 
have know, you, you been in you bed that, this you whole that, time? You do that tomorrow. So no, she hasn't yoga today. Oh, she doesn't want to break her streak. Regent can come out. We got a ton of good threats. Dang. Oh, I'll tell you something. Uh oh, laying in bed is gonna make it way harder to. He's use right. Motivation. I hate to say it, but that's for the true. Longer you're in there, the longer you just want to sleep. Hmm. Oh no, baby, gotta get up. Yoga does, in fact, teach you to stretch like Mr. Fantastic and shoot fire. <laughs> wait, you took out the, the... Oh, yeah. the Wait, you took out the region? Yeah, because, like, we have, what? One, two, three, four. <laughs> like, we have no way to delve, really. We're not a delving deck. You don't want to seven mana three here? You don't want seven mana three three. I don't know if there's no way. Because your ear is tiny. Yeah, I know. I just I wanted to hear you say it. Oh, Lord, to hear you say it, boy. I like the idea of shooting fire. Can you imagine the power? <laughs> Katie, a flamethrower for, for oh god, present. Don't give her that for a present. I like it. The stuff burns. This is twenty two, and I'm wondering if we just do like twenty two and like count one of these as a land. I think we count count Mox as a land. I don't know about crypt. That's fine. Then switch them. Like yeah, whatever you want to do in your brain. That was what I was saying before. There that, you yeah, go. It's done. That. Good job. Smart. Switch them again. Keep I'll, switching. I'm going to keep doing switch it, Switch them over and over. I'll and switch over. them forever. One swamp? What is that for? What's the... What's Is there a high... Oh, because the sink's the steel wind? No, we're not doing that. That's in that guy. Get out of town. Worst case scenario, I'll discard him with either Dak or Doretti. <clears throat> so we have eight, six. Oh, well, let me put these in at least. So then it's like, oh, hey, don't forget you got these guys. And I'm like, oh, okay, I didn't know. Down, down, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> Definitely going to go to eight here. Six, seven, eight, nine. Mm. Okay. And then probably one more of these. So we got six, seven, eight, 13, six. 8, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so we have to cut one thing. I'll cut a red. Both these signets make red. I don't think this deck is any good. No, I think it's going because of Dak and Oko. And our top ends are okay. It was a cantor, but I, I don't know about going to 15 lands with Mana Crypt and Mox. Oh, sus. <clears throat> like, artifacts now, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Nine, Shut up and take 10, my money. 11. It's pretty good. Not the plague. Super Friends 5 color fixing is key. Well, that's pretty good. That sounds sweet. Wait, what's going on? I'm feeling 85. <laughs> I'm feeling 22. Oh, geez. Read the angry. That one. I once used a gas powered torch and hairspray as a makeshift flamethrower. To incinerate a nest of ground wasps that stung me while cutting my grass. Can confirm flamethrowers are cool. <laughs> like sting me, I'll show you guys. I'll burn you to the ground. I feel no sympathy for wasp dying. You lived in a house with these two for two years when they didn't have this outlet for their craziness. You can do anything. Who's Jim? Is that your boyfriend? It's really bottom of the barrel. <laughs> the Jim's, the, Jim's the bottom, you said? Wow. He can't keep getting away with it. He can't keep getting away with it. I did miss it, though. AMC is going to, they're going to sue me and be like, sorry, you used the sound clip. We don't. Say, of course, this guy's in my opening hand, but it's fine to discard a deck. Just super pumped to see you streaming again. Not the plague. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. I wasn't sure if I if I confirmed that, but thank you so much, dude. Your My support. Brother tried to use hairspray torch to you. burn the weeds. Support oh, that was supposed to pull. He caught the whole yard on fire in the fence. Wow. That was something I would do. You're not burning the weeds. You're supposed to pull. Wow, super fits nice. Not really the same. Michael's the uh, Yvonne Drago of Wasp. If they die, they die. Thank you. That sounds correct. It's Flicker Ivan, form. Thank you for the but... sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. The 10 months. Yeah, also, like, 
just so you guys know, like, if you guys ever comments on the YouTube videos, I check all the comments just because, I don't know, why wouldn't I? And you guys are, I'm like so appreciative of all the comments you guys leave, whether you're watching right now or whether you're watching on YouTube. Watch wherever you want. You, yeah, you do you, you know? That's, taking a crap. It's your life. It's fine. Yeah, you drop them in a deuce on the tube, good to go. When I torch the wasp, I actually douse the yard around the hole with water. So no fun. That's smart. Big brain. Man. Some people are just flamethrower experts, you know? Just built different, you know? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. It's just a stupid meme, but I love it. Is it? Yeah. I thought you were a stupid YouTube meme. Wait. Yeah. You're... Wait, you said just a stupid meme. He said YouTube, folks. I read his, and then I put, I said YouTube meme, and... <clears throat> well, I can control your weird thoughts. I can't, you know. Guys, I know you're going to be excited about this, but I get a haircut in, like, three days, and I can't wait. The sides get so, like, fluffy. I hate that. I, it drives me insane. It's my literal least favorite thing ever. Literally not favorite. Literally my least favorite thing. And Perkins. What is that? Go on. I don't know. That's creepy. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So we have um uh, an, Am an Amazon Echo Trigger that um, turns our living room light on. And so <laughs> Katie apparently turned the living room light on, like right, out right outside the door. It's our downstairs living room. And the light just turned on. I mean, Michael, like, why did that light just turn on? Uh, apparently, she's in such good shape, she said living room instead of bedrooms. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, oh, what just happened to the light? It just made me go and tell, am I going to have to fight for my life mode? <laughs> yeah, it was not ideal. I'm going to play this guy. Try to hit a land. Sword. That's unfortunate. I would have liked to draw that, but that's okay. Um, play a land. going to braid probably this gentleman because I think he's going to get bigger. I don't like that. You know, I'm busy feeling 22. See, I need a haircut. The sides of my head get way curlier, and the t yeah, dude, my hair is naturally curly. So, a little, haircut. a little Frank secret. I actually, I've straightened my hair for like, God, 10 years because I it just, it's, that. it's unmanageable when it's really, mm. it's unmanageable when it's like naturally curly. I mean, you might have mentioned it, but I don't listen to you, so yeah, that's fair. <laughs> The important thing is that Katie was wearing an onion on her belt, which was the style at the time. <laughs> Solid reference. That's from The Simpsons, Michael. Perhaps you've heard of it. No, no. It's that show with Kramer and Jerry and Elaine. George Costanza, remember? Hmm. I see what you did there. Yes. See, I, I, it was actually The Simpsons, but since you got The Simpsons confused with Seinfeld no, no. once... I didn't get them confused. I just said the wrong name. Because you weren't sure which was which. You know, I understand. No. I understand. No. I understand. No. Stop it. What are we going to do with the Sphinx? Oh, man, I got new haircut. Jaeger bombs. <laughs> you know what? I see my new haircut. All right, let's do this guy. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's the ticket. Haircut, hear me out. Have you thought of using a flamethrower? Hmm. One of the hand i'll put the botanical sink the, the botan uh one on the bottom this exile this one play this one still oh my gosh wallace wallace ray man the perfect baby is that wassan oh hi wassan i look at him every so day i love him oh i can just play ragavan here that's exciting hi my little son Wally. He's the best around. And nothing. Is there a way to get Sphinx back in my deck? Back in my deck, Faden. Play a card you don't. I I can Duretti him, which is nice. 
Wally, I'm gonna hold your hands. This is five. Do I wanna like attack with this guy? Probably 11 when they're playing more aggressively than I am. That's unfortunate. Oh, Academy Runes. Yeah, but we can just put on top of the deck at that point. That doesn't, that doesn't do what I want. Do a manga? Probably messed up and come back. So we just got a, I just got a YouTube comment now, actually. And it said, from Josh Allen, Hippos also travel in groups and would overpower anything that lives in or near a river. Crocodiles avoid them for a reason, and if any croc grows a pair of balls and threatens any member of a group of hippos, they don't live long enough to tell their friends. Just saying. Went off on a tangent. Love the randomness of you guys. Glad you're back. Unfortunate how it happened. Brutal. Brutal. Yeah. We could just have an... We, we could just have a stream where we talk about wild animals. That'd be cool. Oh, shit. That. That's good. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's a bloodbath. Oh, God. Thoughts and prayers. Can we get some thoughts and prayers in the chat? Oh, God. Today, I got a uh, new phone case. Who it is? It's got Naruto on it. Well, not actually Naruto, but it's... Do you mean Naruto? Only, only weebs pronounce it Naruto, Michael. I am one of those. It's got Kakashi Sensei and his little dog friend on the back, but it's clear, so you can still see the purple phone. I think that wins, actually. You ready for this? I actually don't want to show them. I was going to be fun and be like, oh, I'll steal your token. <laughs> but we didn't want to do that. I don't think this deck is very good. He says that through one game where we have bad draws. The draws are bad because the deck wasn't good. <laughs> what more do you want from me, man? Smart. We didn't get our metal worker going. That's unfortunate. We didn't get to go turn three Karn liberated. So that sucks. Wow. Fear beats batter still batter. Did you know that snakes don't like it when you pick them up? I have a, we, me and Katie got a, a boa, uh, a ball python, a boa constrictor, a ball python. And he seems to like the enrichment of it. He gets excited and he crawls around our little hands and fingers I bet most snakes don't, but I, I, I do I do believe that you can socialize socialize snakes. I can't even is that TPO? Yeah, okay. I couldn't even see it because your name is like dark blue on on the black background. But I was like, oh that's really <laughs> Oh, some snakes are adorable puppies in noodle form. Yeah. Yeah. Re Re his name is Reggie and he's very cute. I was gonna actually I was actually gonna stream with him yesterday and put him like around my neck so he can like crawl around and go in my little hoodie or whatever and do his little exploring. But I was concerned that like streaming and talking and reading chat and playing games and making sure Reggie doesn't like fall or go too far. I was like, this might be a bit much. I still might try it though. He's very cool. Very I, cool. I've had some, some form of reptile um, for most of my life. I would say when I was like, Thank you. 18, I started trying to adopt reptiles. And I've had dart frogs. They are very, very clever, and they will sneak out of the tank no matter how well, how, no matter how well you secure it. Um, like, <laughs> there were, this, this hand is rough. There were literally times where I would go and be like, where did the dart frogs go? And they would be like, I would literally find them in the hallway on the carpet because they they dried out. They they need a very moist and humid environment. And they, at that point, they had dried out from all the you know, dust oh, or sad. carpet or whatever. And I was like, how did you even get out? Like, I didn't even understand it. It was very frustrating and sad. Wow. Sounds like a solid snake. And, like, I did I did so much work to, like, make sure the tank was secure and that they couldn't get out. But they're so small. And then I was like, dart frogs might not be for me. And so I learned my lesson. Um, I've had several turtles. Lady is my my current turtle who is named as such because I thought she was a boy, so I named her Seymour. And then she was a lady. And now I just call her Lady. And she's about 20, probably 22 years old now. Oh, look at that. I'm going to be the guy that just plays Mox, Mox Ruby. Like he's got nothing to hide. Um... I've also had bearded dragons, and we have a current bearded dragon now. His name is Freddy. We got two. We basically, Katie and I got two reptiles in the past six months. One was a bearded dragon. His name is Freddy. He's adorable. And one is Reggie, our ball python. Well, we didn't get her in the past six months. You understand? 
Okay. I can't. If we draw any artifact, we just get to slam a Karn, which is kind of cool. Maybe we see this is why you should have held this. I'm not smart. That's why. This is why I'll never be on the Pro Tour. But you are, so you're alive. When are you going to make a human? God, make it, dude, Mikey, you have such weird questions, dude. Sometimes I think like you're socially, you're so socially inept. <laughs> uh, we'll likely try to make a human in about a year once Katie is out of residency. So maybe we'll see. You just got all the ingredients and you, you put them in the, in the in the little pot, the witch's brew. You know, that's all you got to do. Uh, yeah, put them in the witch's all brew. The figs. Boy, I that mean, escalated quickly. I agree. You sound like you sound like our parents, right? Like, when are you gonna have baby? When are you gonna give us grandkids? If that was anyone else we didn't know, we'd be like, oh, don't think about banning that guy. That's weird. Yeah, that's a weird question. Don't worry about it. All right, I'm just gonna play this because one more land and we get to Karn. I bet we'll find it next turn if we don't die from like land hell rider. Here comes land. Let's see. Mutual for profit. Hmm, good question. Cloning? Hmm. I think one's enough, I'll be honest with you. Same. Oh, good. Agree. Oh, good. An avalanche rider to kill my forest. So, the more I've ever played against Running Grand Runaway Steamkin, that card's brutal. Oh. Exotic pet store with my son this week. The same type of long haired, bearded, 50 ish dude wearing a tie dye shirt with an animal printed on it. Work there. That has worked at every exotic pet store since I was a small boy. Where do they get them? Uh, pet stores have gotten, at least in this area, pet stores have gotten a lot nicer because there's a lot more known about the industry and a lot more serious breeders and hobbyists, which is kind of cool. Like, I know the knowledge I gained when I had a bearded dragon like 20 years ago uh, was a lot less than what I have now, if that makes sense. Like, I feel way more informed about bearded dragon husbandry now than I did then because I think there's just so much more information on it. Do we get to be the bloodbathers now? The bloodbathers. So... Get rid of this guy. That's for sure. And probably these two? Yeah. That seems good because they're not going to pay for that avalanche rider a bit. They do. They're just a sucker. I thought you were going to be Katie's husband. Now you're going to be a bearded dragon husband. When will it stop? <laughs> wow. Well, it's a good question. It's a valid question. I'm just going to play Hazard right now. Dire Fleet. I don't. You can't cast this with Dire Fleet, can you? Yeah, Serve six month plan on getting beauty. Any advice? Uh, the tank setup is seemingly the most important thing. You got to do a lot of research. Before getting one. They're not actually that hard to take care of, but the setup is a bit much. You know, we're going to having more than one spouse is frowned upon. <laughs> can I send you my free draft token? You can. I don't know if they're tradable, though. It's Wally again. I would definitely use it, as you know. Wally, Maybe you are. How's it going? Are you enjoying it? I love that game. <laughs> He's such a good one. Finally found the one. Yeah, I, knew, I, mean, I knew they couldn't cast that. I just wanted to make sure. Because like, I get nervous when, when opponents do stuff like that. And I'm like, wait. You can't, right? You can't. My brand. No, it's not fair. Oh, there was time now. Let's see what card we get from this guy. What is it? A mountain? Fascinating. I'm fascinated. What about you, Michael? Fascinating. That's fascinating. Play a portal. Draws to. Well, I guess we'll just play this guy and. Oh, we're just going to win the game. What do we have drawn? Zealous and Sword? Yeah, I'd probably discard these two. Okie dokie. Well, we won a game, so that's really. Mike, are you trying to get him to jump on your little bell bell? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I kind of want to take Emery out for, like, just Baral, just to have the 1-3. And I think that's okay. 
Fury save for your Fury is a hell of a card. Fury is a hell of a magic card. The bearded dragon scholars have uncovered the secrets of true harmony. Hey, you want me to pick you up? I'm trying to keep up with this chat. You guys are going crazy. My gr my granddad said goodbye to me and my wife this summer, saying, "I'm old, you know. Not much more time for great grandkids." <laughs> yeah, they do that. They do be like that. Yeah, the whole rotation is bonkers. It's almost like Modern Horizon 2 is awkwardly pushed an excessive amount. Oh, I kind of like turn one this, and if we hit any land this, but two, two seven drop. And then we like, there's an Oko here. I'm going to ship it. I'll keep this. Send this guy back, because you're going to be in my hand literally every time, which is unfortunate. Maybe you shouldn't be in my hand. Oh, great. Dueling monkeys. Mountain, one time. No? No times? Why? Because he just played it first and my... Yeah. Michael, don't tell Wally he's going crazy. Uh, I saw that the rares were leaked, but I didn't look at them because really... They would have been they would have been leaked in the next four days anyway, knowing magic, so that doesn't really surprise me. Oh good, you just stole my worm coil engine. I guess I don't want to draw that though, so you know. Really what problem is? That's what I always say. Yeah, that's Wallulum. He's a very good boy. Dominary Mas Dominary Remaster does look like it slaps. You gonna play this figure, Destiny? Yeah, I knew you were. Oh, really? This is bad. Oh, that's terrible. Unless we somehow manage a mountain here. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip. That's it. That's that's all for me, folks. Yep, that's all I wanted to see. That's all, folks. Uh, Ragavan is definitely the bigger Shut threat. Up and take my money. I don't even think it's close. Alternate casting costs and casting things from the graveyard and exile. Okay, that sounds good. I need to open up a little. A little thingamajigger here. Keep track of these. So we got not the plague. Um, five color super friends. Burwit. Alternate, alternate casting cost. Alternate casting cost is what you said, right? And casting things from graveyard and exile. Let me know if that's correct. Oh, Michael's Michael's in pain because Wally is just so heavy. Oh, Wally, you're so heavy. You're just being a baby. All, all you gotta do is lean back and, and hold him like he's a little baby boy, Michael. Is that too much to ask? No, I can't talk about much. But you just pull it closer to you. It's literally on an arm. Look, it can go all the way back here, past your ear. Hmm. It moves. <laughs> Does it now? No, it's new. I'm just telling you. you still? I know. It was all a fake trick. It was a fake trick. It wasn't even a real trick. Yeah. Very big conspiracy. Okay. Okay. Force of Will is in the new set. Yes, there are like three versions of Force of Will. There's the borderless version, there's the retro frame version, and there's the regular modern frame version. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Is it hot? Yeah, it's real hot. Is it real hot? I think we're gonna we're gonna play this. Maybe we Emery here. I like an Emery. Yeah, I don't think it's an expanse. Well, I don't have Express. any cards called expanse. Express. Express? You mean expressive? There's express in it. <laughs> Why is he going so fast? He just ran by. He's so fast. Yeah, Michael, he's a speed demon. Is the new set standard legal? No. Jesus God, no. Yeah, I don't think it's reported. Good Lord, no. Oh, we're going Pyretic Ritual, Seething Song. Oh, man. If I can hit a green, that would be insane. Did you just really play like two rituals just to cast a Timeless Lotus? That's aggressive. 
two mana, into three mana, into five mana, into Lotus. Yeah. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, you're going to get left behind. Well, I will never get left behind. Where am I, little champ? Oh, a Tinker? Oh. Oh, boy. Okay, put one of them in your hand. Tinker. Put one of them on the bottom. Sphinx them. Put Exile this guy. Play this guy. Uh, mana Crypt. Play Mana Crypt. And then we're going to go Ocho. Into... Go. Goodbye. I don't think you can use your foods as fuel, which is pretty cool. Foods as fuels as foods as fuels as foods as fuels. <laughs> that was yeah, not. Exactly. Yeah, I kind of trailed off there, but that's okay. Hey, Frank and Toby McStubbins. <laughs> that's funny. I understood that reference. Look at that. He's attacking Oko, and Oko doesn't. He doesn't even care. He's just like, yeah, I'm good. I'm Gooch. Man, turn your thing into a three-three is so brutal. Michael, please call a flip. It's Nice. You get to live. Jesus. I didn't know I was riding on that. I didn't want to, want to spoil it, you know. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to stinker tinker this guy. And then we're going to get Sphinx of the Steely Wind. And then we're going to go Sword. Play that sword. Jesus Christ. Wait, did you say Joseph and Jesus? Yeah, something like that. Call it Frendo. <laughs> What's the most of your lost on coin <laughs> <Wow>. flip? <laughs> oh, I kind of want to put that on the board. What's the most you ever lost on a coin That's flip? That's actually pretty good. Excuse me? That's old Javier. Yeah, that's Mr. Bardem to you. Also, I thought his uh, the one time he played a 007 villain was really good. The 007 villain villain? What did you just say? The 007 villain. Oh, I haven't seen that movie, but I have seen really? his clips from it. It's geek, And they're kind of good. impressive. That was actually a pretty good film. I've actually downloaded all the Daniel Craig Bonds, and I'm looking. I'm, I'm, Those the ones I'm meaning watching. to watch them. They're good. They're still good. Yeah, that, that gas station seems very good. I drink your milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Dano, though, has one of the most punchable faces. I, I, I respect him as an actor. I think he's actually fantastic. But I can't look at his face without wanting to punch him. Really? You like Skyfall over Casino Royale? That's interesting. Doing some things. What is this? They're faithless looting. But they. Okay, cool. I had fun. Everybody having a good time, huh? I kind of just want to bring in this guy. Yeah, bring him in. Yes, bring him in. Like, <sighs> Tell me what you feel like. Tell me about your feels, Michael. Uh, portal may be a little slow as far as a cut. Oh, he's kind of land. Wow. Yeah, we got 16 lands and a Mana Crypt and a Mox Ruby. Casino Royale was my first Bond film. It's a good one to start with. I started with oh. one of the uh, Pierce Brosnan ones that wasn't good. I was a kid, so at the time I thought it was good. I thought you were good. I was wrong. Damn. I'll keep this. Buski. I really wonder if the Pierce Brosnan films hold up, to be honest with you. Chris, I'm sorry, but they, they do not all slap. The, the the world whatever one, that one's... Oof. So you're referring to like Miss Doubtfire, that Pierce Brosnan film? <laughs> Pierce Brosnan was in Miss Doubtfire, right? I, yeah, he played like the boyfriend, the new boyfriend, right? That's what I thought, yeah. He plays the... Uh, Stepdad, nobody wants. Then later in the movie, he's a jerk and they get him. Chocolate, get him. 
there's some animals going. He's being hunted, you know. He's being hunted. He's being hunting. He's hunting. Hunter be hunting, you know. Huh. He's trotting around. He said. Uh, Michael, you gotta you gotta call it. What's the most you ever lost on a coin flip? Okay, you're doing good. The most I've ever lost is nothing because I'm perfect. <laughs> Michael gets to stay alive again, guys. Actually, let's get in there first. Oh, he's James Bond and Black Adam. Wow. Yeah, trade with me. I haven't seen it, but I've heard that one's a stinker. It's a little stinker. Discard up to two cards. Yeah. I got an ancestral vision. Ancestral. Like it's the best movie ever made. Everyone was like, hmm. It was like that. Was like, it looked good from the. It was like a little. Like the first DC movies that I was like, this looks all right. But then it got like 50, 50 on like all the review sites, and I was like, oh, that's rough. Yeah, when they all give them that bad, it's. Yeah, that's the thing. People are like, I don't read reviews, and I'm like, okay, but it's literally hundreds of people, and they're all agreeing that it's not great. So like, maybe yeah. the aggregate knows something. Like if it was one review by one. Right. That's that one one or between one and ten reviews I can chalk up to a difference in opinion and maybe I'll go enjoy it. When there's like forty reviews and they're all kind of shit, it's like eh. I'll probably the audience score. The what? The audience score. The what? Are you mad at me? Are we not friends anymore? Yeah, it's over. I need you to name heads or tails. Well, too late because you already did it. No, I did not. I clicked on the ancestral vision trigger, my friend. God, you are so lucky. You're the luckiest man. I told you I'm pretty good One, at One, two, three, four, five. I'm good at the flips. Not much, but you know. I don't know much, but I'm good at the flips. Black Adam was good for a DC movie. That garbage was pretty delicious, as it turns out. <laughs> I had a really tasty meal of garbage. It's, again, it's so weird because the DC animated films go so hard. One, two, three, four, five, and yet, six. Also, I did like, we didn't finish it, but I did really like Peacemaker. I thought that was good. Also, I did like the Suicide Squad by James Gunn. They should probably just do everything. Do every. Well, he is. He's literally the, like... Right, that's what's going to be happening, right? Yeah, he's the like the... CEO of DC Films now. They're like, please save us. Yeah, it's really us, it's um, it's kind of exciting. Help. Like, I mean, I Suicide thought Suicide, was Suicide Squad was great. Yeah, the one he did was good. And then he did. Did he do another one for them? I don't know. Let me just work here. Oh yeah, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker is so good. Yeah, the second Suicide Squad was great. First one, eh, not so much. I didn't dislike the new Batman, but I, I kind of feel the same. I didn't hate it, but it definitely didn't feel very. It felt like a goth. It felt like it almost felt like the Crow and not like Batman. Yeah, I'm just really tired of these like dark gothic takings of Batman, where it's like it's more like a it's more like a mafia movie than it is. I guess the mafia part's fine, but I don't know, man. Something just didn't also, sit like, well with me. Nolan already did that. It's and, too edgy. And if you can't do it as good as Nolan, then I don't want you to do that. Also, I kind of like Robert Pattinson as Batman. That was totally fine. Yeah, no, I thought the pick was fine. I think he works good as a young Batman. They just time twister and we get to Mind Slayer? Or are they going to go time walk here? You know, that sounds correct, yeah. Is James Gunn still going to do Guardians as well? I think that's already filmed, right? Yeah, he's already doing Guardians. Yeah, I don't think I don't think James Gunn's a guy up. right now where you can be like, all right, but if you're working for them, you can't work for us. Like, <laughs> see you later, bye. Yeah, like, also, he doesn't strike me as a guy that's like, you know, desperate. So. Oh, we just won the match. Man, I really wanted to activate my mind slaver. All right, we're one, we're one two, one one, one two, one one, zero one two. It's like we get it. I love Frank Miller year one as much as anyone, but you know, we could try something else. Because that's kind of all Batman is dark and edgy in an unforgiving city. can only be repeated for like 90 years. And so, you know what? I loved what they did with Spider-Man. I loved what they did with, with Tom Holland's Spider-Man. They didn't retell anything. They brought in the Vulture for the first movie, which had not been seen before. Then they brought in Mysterio, who had not been seen before. And then No Way Home was fantastic. And like, 
what they did was they didn't retell the same story all over again. So it's not like, let's stop starting over with Batman, pr- assume that everyone knows who he is, and just give him a cool story does. with his cool villains. Like, I would love to see a Batman movie that finally has, like, Killer Croc in it, or, you know, ra- like a good Ra's al Ghul, or like... Oh, that'd be sick. Yeah, like, I, I really didn't like the Liam Neeson, who was actually not, like... Yeah, it was, oh wait, it was it was Ken Watanabe, right? And then Ken Watanabe wasn't actually Ra's al Ghul. Liam Neeson yes. was Ra's al Ghul. That was actually pretty good. I, I do like the Nolan films. Yeah, the Nolan films were great, but it's like, if you're going to stick with the Nolan dark and edgy, you have to bring the goodness to the table. Bring the goodness to the table. Or else, like, you got to change it up. Also, like, one thing about DC is that, like, it's similar to Marvel, where so much of these JLA characters work their like they're they're at their best when they have an ensemble like batman is great he's a he's a loner but he's really not he has like 19 fucking teammates yeah. that are like bat teammates like batgirl catwoman robin nightwing tim drake you know little boy. you know um jason todd like he's got this whole team damien and like but then you also have the JLA, the entire JLA, Batman playing off the JLA, playing off Superman, playing off Wonder Woman, playing off Green Lantern, who he doesn't get along with. You know, like there's these fucking great relationships in DC and they just don't do anything with them. They and it tried sucks. for Batman and Superman, but it didn't work. It's just frustrating because like you're missing so much. You're leaving so much value on the table by not having this. And like. I think anyone will agree that even if some of the Avengers movies are not great, the team dynamic between them, between like Thor and Iron Man and Iron Man and Captain America, like it's, it's so worth it. Like it makes it so good. Right. Plus there's like so much more interesting I'm Batman material up on, on comic book stuff. Like if they did like a cool version of Court of Owls or something, that'd be sick. That might be hard to say. Just up, let, but. just let, yeah, just let Scott Snyder and Jeff, Jeff Johns take over the movie. Michael, you got to pick. All right. It's, Fuck, he's unbeatable, man. Okay, so right now what we can do is nothing. Okay, just checking. Get in there, you little shitter. Yeah, we got him though. <laughs> They're dead, basically. He can't be flapped. It's true. He's unflappable. Also, like Batman can be not at like if you watch any of the good like again. DC Michael, stop. Enemy. Answer the answer the question. Heads. It's unbelievable. I've never seen such Look, a thing. Man, I can't explain my talent. <laughs> anyway, but you like... You wouldn't understand. Again, the DC animated films, like... Batman's not really that dark. Like... And you know what? I've, you know what fine. I've heard? They're really good. Yeah. Or like even the Batman the Animated Series, like... It has dark parts, but it's really not that dark of a show. And it is... Well, don't let me interrupt you, but so our opponent's good. name is Chicken Man. <laughs> The 37th variety. <laughs> chicken. I'm Chicken Man 37. Maybe you've heard of me. Heads or tails? Is it heads again? Heads. Are you sure? I'm sure. Do you don't you don't think you're getting a little greedy with the heads? Oh, it's always heads. You don't change your answer. It doesn't make a difference. Unbelievable. I've never heard of such a thing. Give me a card from your hand. Give me your most beautiful card. Give me your most beautiful card. If it wasn't obvious. Yes, I am also a fan of Mask of Phantasm. It's also very nostalgic for me because I was a little baby boy when I watched it. <laughs> oh, my little baby boy. That film's actually really dark. Oh, that's an Ocho. Except we don't have a forest or an island or a mountain at this point. Oh, wow. Well, well, I'll just exile that, I guess. Are you sure it's going to be uh, this? I, I feel good. I feel bad about this, buddy. Uh, if I carn a land, I lose carn. So, no, definitely not carning a land. That's- it's always hits. This is unbelievable. I've never even... See, now we can exile this guy. Goodbye. Also, the most serious fight in Mask of Phantasm, uh, Joker hits Batman with a salami. But it's like a big salami. So has been there, you know? It looked pretty painful. I'm going to cast... Do I just cast Ragavan? You know what's funny? I think Jim Carrey as the Riddler again could work if he played it a little more serious. I knew what you did for life because I don't understand how you're literally here every single time. He's an AI. It's insane. I'm pretty sure Affinity was the first AI. 
What if I go <laughs> salami for Batman's money? And click the clip. We got to see it. Oh, dang it. I overpaid. Oh, well. Stupid. Click the clip. Taking system you're using. This is called Sublime. Interesting. It's a note. Oh, wow. Not your Evernote, though. Not on, no. I mean, I still use Evernote, but sometimes when I just want to jot something on quick without, like, making a new note. I don't like this at all. I don't like it. That's a lot, of, a lot of little shitters there. Yeah. Kevin Conroe. Sad one. That's Batman to me. Kevin Conroe. <laughs> He'll always be Batman to me, damn it. Damn it. Oh, damn it. All right, let's see what this card is bringing us. Oh, a Botan. I don't want any of these. Pick one of them to put in your hand. I'll take the Botan. One on the bottom. This one. And exile this one. It's the last one. Oh, I don't actually have a red sword. Interesting. What's up? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you should have kept the... I don't know. What? So many pests. I just have a dude, and maybe if I hit something cool, I can play it. Oh, God, I'm really one away. That's so stupid. That was terrible. Yeah. Why, aren't, why isn't Ragaman a 2 2, you know? Why doesn't he fly in a first strike and death touch and trample and indestructible and hexproof and. Dang. Banding and horsemanship. Why doesn't he have banding and horsemanship? And worstmanship and, and and extra and money in his pocket. <laughs> why doesn't he have money? Why doesn't Ragavan have Hexproof from Crabs? <sighs> from That's a good crabs. question. Did you smell this? Yeah, it's cough syrup, hundred percent. It smells like a medicine I used to take as a child. Oh God, look, they played the one the one planeswalker. Hey, secret. They, they still make that medicine. How do you know? Do you take it every day? Wow, that's impressive. I like to get into that scissor, you know. <laughs> he does like the scissor. Have you tried it in your drink form? Yeah, it's terrible. It's the first one I've like actively disliked. Yeah, man, I like to stock up. Safe light repair. It's safe like a whole repairs. bar over there, you know? Got a little setup. You know, mixing man. That's what they call me. They all call me the old Jimmy Mixon man. Michael, is it heads? Yes. You stupid idiot. God. Well, oh. You know, I've saved you over 20 damage, I think, at this point. So I think I've earned I've earned it. You know? you like. The ability to be wrong. Tell me what you've earned. I'm going to draw some cards. Sacrifice? Oh, that was a good hit. That's what Father likes what to see. To Get rid of you. Is it sort of feast and famine? <laughs> Mike's so bad at these flows. <laughs> He's the worst. He's terrible. And then we'll play Corsi. And then we'll play Botan. Not a single one. Don't talk about Corsi and Botan like that, Michael. Oh, we were Corsi and Botan. Look how many cards I'm going to get if we restart the game. And it, 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 as God is my witness, we'll restart it. My only regret with Ragavan is that he isn't an octopus shark crab and therefore isn't the best card in Magic. Can you imagine if he was a, an octopus shark crab that did that? What if it was an octopus shark crab pirate? My only regret is not being rich. One day. I believe in you. They could kill Dak Faden, but they were like, no, no, Karn is getting too big. He's getting too big for his britches. I would like to ask you a question, Michael. Are you ready? Heads or tails? I'm getting real annoyed with you. This is unbelievable. Oh, you ran out of luck. I can only give you so many. Don't blame me, Michael. Look, man. Don't victim blame my luck. You're stealing on my luck. I mean, I can only give you so much. You know? At the end of the day, you're still flipping it, technically. So, pass over the keyboard. 
Get out. Get out. <laughs> I want this. I think I can just cycle this guy, right? That seems much better, right? I'm not. Oh, let's activate yes. Karn too. Let that him be cool. an elk now. He has served his purpose. Hmm. Just realized. Tell me. Trying to explain to oh, just want to a new magic player how Oko Elks work seems like a nightmare. Oko Elks. So it's an artifact yet? No, it's just an elk. But what do you mean? Should it's Katie and I name our first child Oko Elks? First name Oko, middle name Elks. Are you are you strongly considering it? No, I was actually going to say I actually don't like it when people even name their dogs after magic cards, let alone their children. it's like subscribing them to a thing that they might not like in their oh, life. Yeah, that's true. It's like naming your child after like this is my little boy football. <laughs> this is this is he hates it. <laughs> this is little uh, uh Brady. Jeez. I couldn't remember the name of that guy. <laughs> Tom name Brady. Them Oko Mommy Salami Mucho Rat Train Lapore. And that would be the greatest gift the stream ever gave us. That's a mouthful. Just name him Rat Train, but the French spelling, La Rat Train. Call the kid Deb. And when they say Debra, they say no, Debris. <laughs> no, Debr it's Debris, Michael. That's Debris. <laughs> You're right. My mistake. Good. Don't let it happen again. Does Ragavan get to connect here? No, that's not right. Look how many lands we've been drawing. It's a lot. God. For bloop. I just make two one ones here? Is that how that works? I mean my last name's technically a biblical reference, but that makes two one ones? Wow, that's kinda a, good. A pasta. I did there? No. It's like apostle. But... I get it. Okay. Don't say the L in apostle. Apostle. No, no don't. Please. Please. I'm begging you. Do it. Surprisingly aggressive right now. That's pretty good. I am a I'm an old old school MOTU fan. But see the thing about that is I get to cast this ignoble hierarch. This is all exciting. The name Jace isn't cool on its own, but Skeletor, if your kid's named Skeletor, he's going to be so, everyone's going to like Skeletor at the class, you know? No one make fun of a kid named Skeletor. That's such a cool name. Hey, you making fun of Skeletor? <laughs> we don't like it when people make fun of our friend Skeletor, you see? Also, if his name's Skeletor, it rhymes with Lepore, so it's, he's got a rhyming name. Wow. That's kind of cool. Although it is a lot to live up to. If your name's Skeletor, you kind of have to be cool. Unless you don't care about being cool. You imagine then being that's like cool a, again. You, your name is Skeletor and you're like a Melvin. Yeah. That would be bad. That's sad. Melvins are more accepted these days, you know? Are they really? Yeah, Good for so. them. Good for them. Look at all these cards I'm stealing with one this one stupid one drop. I'm getting a third card here. Pelucranos? Nissa? Oh my god, I think I have another forest to get it's to. It's almost like an unopposed monkey is the best magic card ever invented. That's like turn one unopposed monkey is just it might as well be Black Lotus. <laughs> like I was an unopposed monkey once. What happened? Got arrested. I lived my life. Throw in the big jig. Oh, look! I just hit like three lands and a carn. <laughs> you say got thrown in the big jig? Yeah. Is that <laughs> is that what they call it? What did I made that up? But it sounds like the other thing. So well, tonight there's gonna be a jailbreak. So what the hell? Michael, who can say? <sighs> I've heard some. Somewhere in the town, but who's to say? Certainly not me, that's for sure. Oh. Well, that's fascinating. If I... Well, hold on, I gotta read this. If I ever have a large scientist... Scientistic son, 
I will name him Dolph Lundgren. Scientistic son. Tonight. Also, how are you going to know he's going to be large in advance? Like, I could tell this boy he's going to be as tall as an oak. It's really... Like, I was actually a pretty small child, but look at me. Oh, we just won. We just two won with this deck I did not think would do anything. I don't know how, but here we are. And thank you guys so much for watching. Slam the like button, the subscribe button, the buttons down below. Be sure to leave a comment. Or maybe the buttons are on top. On the left of the room. Hit the buttons them. that are up there. They hit the buttons, the buttons in your heart. Maybe hit save for later, you know? <laughs> yeah. That, that's one of my favorite buttons. Save for later. I'll see you later. Thank <laughs> you guys for watching. Much love.